when you said the day of the raid, you're talking about the raid on both Miami and California. And New homes. York simultaneously. In, wait, New York was? Yeah, the that? New York house was raided as well. Oh, wow. That didn't even. Yeah, they didn't even really. Three put, states working in tandem. And they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. Mm. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fair informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner, Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing? They did their job. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. Let's go live to Stu Mandela up in Sky Fox right now for more. Stu, what do we know? Yeah, I heard her say we're live. Copy, copy, copy. All right, there you see Sky Fox overhead of this home where, again, we are seeing Department of Homeland Security investigators. Sandra, this is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing, and it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is actually registered to Bad Boy Films, which is a division of Bad Boy Entertainment, and the home's registered to that and to his daughter. Now, from Sky Fox, Stu up there, he got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to start connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. The first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes ago. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. Now we are hearing from law enforcement sources that this involves sex trafficking. We will be on this all day, keeping you updated with the very latest. We're now reporting live here on the scene Okay, so what should P have done when Cassie went public with accusations against him during their 10-year-long romance? I mean, besides denying her claims which he did, he should have destroyed all the evidence that tied him to the crimes she outlined in her lawsuit. Well, he didn't, and now all the evidence is with federal agents who are reviewing hours and hours of footage as we speak. You know, I had to give a nod to oh the Godfather. My God, look at you! I had to this give a nod cool. to the Godfather. But you're giving us a futuristic James Brown moment on the shoulders. It's working man in showbiz. Avant-garde. Is this your avant-garde moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is it. This, this is fearlessness. Wait a minute. Come yeah. up here, darling. My avant-garde. I'm bringing this around so they can this see. This is avant-gardeism. Yes. At its that. moment. Nails with, what are those? What are the, Straws. What are those, uh, straws. My God. Did you come in a truck? Yeah, we came, came in a truck. In a truck? How did you practice in a trunk? They stuffed okay. me in the trunk. This is Rick Owens. Oh, this is very cool. This yeah, is, it is very, very, this very cool. Owen. I love Rick Owens. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. We're always cool. You know. Cassie, why Diddy didn't want to walk with you, girl? What are you talking about? <laughs> what I'm talking about, Diddy was right next to you. What's good, Diddy? What's good, Diddy? No! What's good, Diddy? What do you think about Kanye West yesterday, brother? Come on, you know, any comment, brother? You gonna leave that alone? Taylor Swift? I know Taylor Swift, your girl, too. <laughs> Thumbs up? <laughs> Have a beautiful day, Diddy. Always nice to see you, brother. <laughs> Keep hope alive! <laughs> so let's rewind just a little bit. Cassie claimed that Diddy was running a criminal network that manipulated and exploited young artists. Diddy was at the top of his game with Bad Boy and used his power and influence to coerce young artists and actors into a world of darkness, and he was the kingpin. But he didn't act alone. Former NYPD detective Derek Parker, known as the hip-hop cop, is joining me now with his thoughts on how this plays out. First, 
Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. So you know, you know Diddy, right? Yes. Back in the 90s, uh, I was assigned to the NYPD. I was the, the hip-hop cop back then, so I had to assist in arresting him in several uh, instances where there were some crimes committed. What were those arrests for? Uh, one was the Club New York shooting. He was with JLo at the time. And the other one was the Steve Stout uh, assault that happened with MTV. So I have some exclusive information, which you just heard. The fact, uh, if it's true, that they found a lot of weapons at his homes. What do you think this could mean? The federal government started a case with him. Apparently, the search warrant that had his houses in Miami and L.A. was pre-planned already. They knew they were going to do that. So they have a much bigger case. Um, right now, with the guns, they're going to check them. They're going to trace them, see if they were used in any crimes. They're going to go over um, anything about uh, cooperators that are cooperating with them. They're going to be talking to a lot of people about cer certain criminal acts that he might have committed. And then go from there. And what about the video? They're going to sift through those videos. They're going to look at them and then see if there's any criminality on those videos. And then they'll, they'll go from there. What do you think? I mean, it just seems like the house of cards might fall for Diddy right now. It's not looking that great. Uh, right now, I know that uh, his, he has high-powered attorneys, and right. uh, with all these allegations that are coming out against him and against other people, a lot of people are starting to be very nervous about what's going on. I guess long term, as you and uh, you know Puff have this amazing relationship that's withstood all the rumors and all the negative mm -hmm. energy. You know, everybody always wants to put their own uh, terms of a relationship on other people. Mm -hmm. When is he gonna marry you? Yes. When is this gonna happen? When? It, and you know, nowadays yeah. with somebody like Puff, who's you know Puff's been married, I don't know how many times, once maybe twice. Zero. I don't know. So obviously, he's not into that. <laughs> cool about Puff is that he is, and he does want to understand marriage. But we have, you know a certain type of relationship and it just works the way it is. Do you believe marriage is for everybody? Absolutely not. My parents are still married. Rod, how long have they been married? 35 years. Do you believe in marriage? I believe in marriage if it's with the right situation, but right. I feel like, you know, I've seen a lot of people get married and break up in the term that I've been in my relationship. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, don't, I feel like you can't really put a tag on it. Of course, everybody looks at marriage as something very I don't know, solid and important. FBI agents believe that Diddy operated with an elaborate team of the industry's finest who made sure their victims would either never speak out or never be believed. Cassie was threatened too and remained silent until 2023, when she sang like a canary and told the world the truth. In one week, three women have spoken out against Sean Diddy Combs, alleging he subjected them to violence. April Lampros filed a lawsuit in New York State Supreme Court saying she was a college student in the 90s studying fashion when Diddy promised industry access and mentorship. She alleges he sexually assaulted her four times. Lampros says Combs invited her to parties and his recording studio to impress her and also, quote, love bombed her with gifts and flowers. The court documents say the friendship quickly manifested into an aggressive, coercive, and abusive relationship based on sex. Lampros claims the rapper forced her to take ecstasy and demanded she have sexual intercourse with Kim Porter, one of Combs's former girlfriends with whom he has three children. Porter died in 2018. Earlier this week, former model Crystal McKinney filed a federal lawsuit claiming she had dinner with Combs in 2003 and later on the same night. Women's claims add to a growing list of others who've come forward with allegations against the rapper in the past six months. Cassie Ventura speaking out for the first time on the explosive video showing Combs beating her in a Los Angeles hotel hallway back in 2016. Ventura writing in part, quote, my only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. What came next was obvious. Diddy lawyered up, but not before offering Cassie a multi-million dollar settlement. That should have been the end of it, but it was just the beginning. Slowly, more and more people started coming up with accusations. You get an accusation, and you get an accusation, and you get an accusation. Everybody gets an accusation. This is an extremely difficult case, besides the fact that it's so personal and involves such a, you know, a sensitive, but just the sheer duration and time that has gone on since this happened makes it really hard to bring in evidence. And she's saying that, you know, this is a difficult case. She's saying that, you know, it first of all, it's 30 years old. It would be difficult to bring uh, the 
evidence forward. It would help her if people that actually saw it was there or view the videos, that would be a help but it's still going to be somewhat of a difficult case if they thought that the feds had something against Diddy that they're gonna bring forward. He has come out and said he is innocent, that none of this is true. He hasn't been charged with anything. So th these are all just allegations right now, but he is denying all of it. Even his lawyer gets up, Diddy's lawyer, and says the reason why he's got a thousand uh, baby oils is because, you know, when you go to Costco and there's discounts, <laughs> that's what he was doing. And people yeah. are supposed to believe Save that. Save that money, yeah, yeah. Diddy. You got to do exactly what you got to do. We, we all do that. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Rob. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us. Stop it. People claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs. If you went there and you were partying and you got drunk and something happened to you and you don't have physical evidence, you didn't have a rape you examination, a then you don't have a case. You only have a terrible memory and you shouldn't have been there. A lot of those people are victims too, but they have nothing that they can present. Now look, man. That was when Diddy's legal team changed tactics and announced that anybody coming up with cases against Diddy after the Cassie settlement was in it for the money. Interestingly, people signed up with Diddy and called many of the accusers gold diggers. The only group that didn't believe Diddy's legal team was Homeland Security. Breaking news tonight, we have some new details about why federal agents may have raided mansions belonging to musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. CNN's Carlos Suarez is outside of his Miami home for us. So what more do you know about what's behind these searches? Well, Anderson, a law enforcement uh, tells my colleague uh, Josh Campbell that uh, these uh, search warrant activities at both of Combs' homes are related to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. The source would not say whether Combs is the target of this investigation. Homeland Security raided two homes belonging to Combs, one here in Miami Beach, the other in Los Angeles. The property here in Miami Beach is an 11,000 square foot property. And uh, late tonight, we saw agents walking out of this house carrying a cardboard box Box, as well as several bags from the second story of the property out here. Agents in Los Angeles could be seen walking around Combs's house there. They were processing the scene there and could be seen uh, taking notes on a table there. Homeland uh, Security here in Miami tells me that uh, the raid that took place here happened a little bit after three o'clock this afternoon. And a neighbor tells me that about 30 to 40 law enforcement officers uh, showed up to the house out here and carried out this search warrant from a law enforcement source who tells my colleague uh, Josh Campbell that these search warrants uh, that were executed is in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. Has Mr. Sean Combs commented on the searches? Yeah, so we have reached out to representatives uh, of Combs. However, we have not heard back. Again, all of this played out uh, here at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Almost immediately, we were trying to get some details on exactly we have not heard from any of Combs's representatives about the raids at either of his properties or the investigation itself. And now we're heading back to March 2024, when federal agents raided Diddy's mansions and left with hordes of surveillance equipment. Yeah, Diddy's lawyers called the whole search a witch hunt, implying that it was all baseless. But what was on those tapes, and why was Diddy so anxious to get them back? was just here, Combs' home in Miami. We were just hearing that his home in Miami was also searched. Fox 11 was first on the scene and first to report this breaking story. Now to our team coverage at 5, Chelsea Edwards breaks down the other allegations Diddy is facing. But first, Fox 11's Haley Winslow joining us live from Holmby Hills with more on what investigators were looking for. Haley? 
Christine and Alex, yeah, we're still trying to get all the details and get more information basically from investigators. But here in Holmby Hills, it's not actually a gated community, but his home is actually gated. It's still behind this police tape right here up this hill to the right where you still see a lot of undercover police cars. There is apparently a guard that is on the property. And when this all broke, we were, of course, the first here to tell you about it. We were just down the street and we were actually in the middle of the it's kind of like a motorcade, the convoy of these 40 or 50 different police cars, all undercover, the Department of Homeland Security, LASD and LAPD here assisting as well. Officers go in and they detain three people. One of them uh, they pulled out. You can see it from Sky Fox and pulling him out. Um, we don't yet know how they're related to this investigation, what they're being charged with. They weren't actually arrested, but they have been detained. And while this was all going on, they were also raiding his home in Miami. We do know that this is in connection to sex trafficking allegations, but we don't yet know. This all happened on Mapleton Drive. This is right near Sunset and Beverly Glen, which became an absolute madhouse. It started out with just hundreds of officers, literally, and then just my photographer and I, and it turned into a lot of onlookers. There was even a celebrity tour bus that came through here. As soon as we get more information about these allegations, the tapes contain hours and hours of footage of the infamous recoveries that are now the subject of high-profile criminal investigations, allegedly. Nobody from the elusive white parties knew they were being filmed, and this was a secret that Diddy kept to himself. I guess you could call it a sick fetish, infatuation, or an insurance policy, but right now everybody in the entertainment industry is watching closely. So it starts out, yesterday there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residence. Um, so with that first line, do you agree or disagree with that? Because you kind of thought maybe it was a little overboard yesterday, especially the armored vehicles, even though potentially there's a, a past or a history of some violent behavior or weapons, drugs, things like that. Do you think it was a gross overuse of military level force? They did uh, use quite a bit. I thought the armored vehicle was a, a nice touch. The fact that they had a lot of people there with big guns, that doesn't offend me. They probably needed to do to make sure they had an overwhelming show of force so that no one would give them any trouble. But this first sentence is just a red herring, uh, has nothing to do with guilt or innocence. Uh, it, it's just to get people's attention away from really what's going on and to try to blame the government for doing something improper. And I think it also has a little tinge of they're just going on this witch hunt and they're going to try to make p diddy look bad and you know this is all just they targeted him and they're going after him because he's a celebrity maybe people have said stuff about him but in reality they just want to get him because he's a big fish i think there's a lot of a lot of hints right. of that in these comments would you agree absolutely and you know it's the same thing i would have done uh for, frankly yeah. if i represented p diddy I would have done the same thing in that first sentence. I would have tried to put the attention on the government misconduct uh, and away from my client. The content of those tapes hasn't been made public yet, and that might be because many of the celebrities in the videos are working out deals with the feds to keep their names out of it. That or the fact that the contents are so gruesome that they're better off left sealed. I think I could book that for like the, the, the weekend of the 14th when the soundtrack comes out. If so, bump somebody. I, all right, thanks. All right, love you, man. Bye. I got my MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Yes! What's next? What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay fucking down. I can't do that. Give me something else. What can't you do? I can do it. In any case, we're going to know more about what happened at Diddy's parties once that case begins in October 2024. That's when we'll have all the cards on the table, every secret spilled, and every rumor confirmed. It's the biggest shakeup the entertainment industry has ever seen.